and like playing those like 1300 seat theaters like those that you i know you've wow. done no i do two, 250 250 2500 or 250 250, 250. oh that's so cute <laughs> <laughs> yeah can we hear your little voice all the way to the back <laughs> Can I just tell you my journey? <laughs> I know everybody knows your <laughs> journey. Tell me about my journey, my friend. Uh-oh. Oh, Keep God. your pants on. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Remember uh, the Spaghetti Factory? Oh, my birthday party? <laughs> you had a birthday party? Everyone yeah, yeah. has a Bobby Lee Spaghetti, spaghetti Factory, Factory story. story. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Well, I used to tell have... Tell us yours. Well, you came, right? Who was there? Uh, the only person I really remember being there is you, your brother, and Ari. Shafir. Shafir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and because uh, I think he, I thought he was funny then. Yeah, I think he's so funny now. So funny now. This is before he beat the shit out of me, or after? Did you guys ever make up? Yeah. Oh, okay. He called me out of the blue. That's nice. Yeah, I and mean, if you guys don't know this, a lot of people do. Ari Shafir beat the shit out of me three weeks in a row <laughs> to the point where I was bleeding out of my face. Because he just got row. tired of your stuff, or what? No, no, because of Natasha Leggero. Oh, what happened? I'm going to just tell you the quick story. Okay. Um, when I was on Mad, do you remember Ron Peterson, mm-hmm. Canadian guy? Mm-hmm. Well, I was at the comedy store one night, and he goes, "Who's that on stage?" I go, "That's Natasha Leggero." He goes, "She's hot." I go, "Yeah, but she lives with Ari Shafir." Ron Peterson goes, "All right." And then I walked away because I had another show in the main room, whatever. And then a couple hours later, I was driving him back to the hotel where we were staying at, and he goes, "I got her number." I go, "Yeah, but he's seeing. She's seeing my friend Ari." He's like, yeah, but she's gonna go on. So she she starts like going to like plays with him, dinners behind Ari's back, right? And then out of nowhere, Ari calls me. She left me, dude. I go, yeah, but she goes, you set them up. Oh Aww. god, right? I go, I didn't set them up. Why would I do that? He goes, you did it. And here's how I know you you, you did it. I go, how? If you don't do this for me right now, this thing I want to ask you to do, I know that you set them up. Whoa. What was the thing? What was the thing? I hope Break it was show them your penis. Because <laughs> I know you do that. Yeah, that's free. Yeah, that's a Korean hell. Break hello. into something? Break into his office at the, Mad TV. Yeah. Go into his computer yeah. and steal the emails between Ron and, oh. and, and, oh, wow. and that's some intention. Natasha. So I go, I can't break into his fucking office at Mad TV. But can I just say the what? visual of you with a little smoke puff? <laughs> <laughs> Poof. <laughs> <laughs> Running in and breaking I in. I am a ninja. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. thought about it for just right, a second. Right, <laughs> yeah. I have my the whole thing on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They're called smoke bombs. Okay. Not smoke puffs. All right. <laughs> smoke puffs. Okay. Just want to correct you mm-hmm. on that. And Thank you. Um, so I go, no, I'm not going to do that. And he goes, then you set them up. So that Friday, I show up at the comedy store, and I'm checking in at the front counter, and he punches me in the face. Like for real punches yes. you? This is not a comedy fight, no. a comedy joke fight. I fall to the ground, and he kicks me in the face like 20 times. Oh, shit. Now I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm like, you know, almost, you know, coma. Mm-hmm. But then as I get up, I hear my name being called. On stage? On stage. And I go up on stage. And did you and talk about it, or I only did? I only went up for one minute. Yeah, and I go that guy right there. You know what I mean? I'm bleeding from the face. He beat the shit out of me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I called him out. Oh, it's fear. Right then, I get off stage, and the manager goes, he "Goes, I mean, he's just emotional. Don't do anything." I go, "All right." It's like how cool I am. Yeah. A week later, I'm walking down the hallway at the comedy store. He fucking lunges at <laughs> <to> me. <laughs> Right, Sorry and he starts strangling me in the fucking hallway with his little Jew th- thumbs in my throat. <laughs> and I, I don't mean that in a racist way; just a descriptive. Way. Yeah, but I'm just saying that, right. that's how I felt at the beginning, the back then. Mm-hmm. And he's squeezing, and then he, my neck starts bleeding because he has his nails oh. gouged into my fucking neck. <laughs> Why it's so funny, baby? That's funny. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> it is funny. Yeah, your man bleeding. Right. I mean, so then, and then I remember I was dating a comic back then. And she was doing a show upstairs, Sarah. Did she come to your rescue? No, she didn't. But I remember going upstairs, and my neck is bleeding. And she goes, why are you crying? And why is your neck bleeding? I go, did you attack me? Oh, my God. You're right. I bet that was a turn on to her. <laughs> <laughs> that was the beginning of the end. Yeah. Oh. Shocking. And then the worst thing happened. So then, unbeknownst to me, this is when Mind of Mencia was going on. Okay. 
Oh, and okay. Ari Shafir had auditioned for Mina Mencia and gotten the part when Carlos Mencia was out of town. Mm-hmm. So he had auditioned for the producers. They had hired him. Mm-hmm. But then when Mencia got back in the town, he already knew that Ari had attacked me twice. And he was looking at like who was performing you know, on his show, and he saw Ari on it. Yeah. So he called <clears throat> Ari Shafir and says, Hey, dude, um, you beat up my friend Bobby, so you can't do my show. So in Ari's mind, he thought that I had called. Oh him. no! Here comes the third <laughs> ass kicking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a real bad sequence of events for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so glad I didn't get ever get into stand up. <laughs> I know. I would have beat your ass so many times. <laughs> I know. So then I show up at the comedy store after he gets fired from Mina Mencia, and I just hear running. Right, like I park the car, I close the door, I hear yeah. Pop, 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 pop. And then no running because he's in the air. Doing a <laughs> Superman punch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does a Superman punch from behind. Pop! I fall to the ground, right? I just run straight to the office. <laughs> screaming. Right? What's oh, so funny, George? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I She's know. like, I work for this guy? Yeah. And I try, I try to call 911. Oh. Right? So I call 911 to call oh, the police, oh. right? I answer the phone. And then no, nothing. Do you know why? Steve Renazizi <laughs> had pulled the fucking cord out of the fucking wall. And he gets on his hands and knees. And he goes, if you call the cops now, he's going to be in jail all weekend because it was a Friday. <laughs> I go, so what the fuck do I do? <laughs> he goes, go home. So I just went home. And then the next thing I know, he got banned from the club. And then for three or four years after that, every time I would walk by him, he would call me a piece of shit, and I, w- I wanted to say I didn't do anything. And but you guys have finally patched this up. I'm so sorry I asked this or mentioned this. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> then out of nowhere, he calls me, and he just goes, "This is five years later." Hey, dude, it's Ari, and I just wanted to go fuck you, right? But then he goes, "I know that you had nothing to do with it." You know what I mean? I was just emotional. I love you. Were you a little worried like a fist was going to come out of your <laughs> God damn it! Four times! <laughs> yeah. And also uh, you're trembling because I I loved him. Mm-hmm. He was my friend. 